how is up life insurance it's me Aka welcome to our channel and you are watching Aka's life insurance it's time to eat I have been showing you around the places in Sikkim in my two episodes one is the first day in Gangkok Sikkim the link is coming around in the top place where I have shown you how to go about in those places by which you can travel with the help of food which are close by in Gangkok and should be seen first and the other episode which is the second day in Gangkok Sikkim the link is also coming in the top so I have taken you to those places where you can go around which is necessary to see in Gangkok City around a distance span of around 20 kilometers. It is my opportunity to show you those places and my privilege that I can show you the traditional cuisine which is available in Gangkok City. Whenever we go to any such places, the best modes of eating is the traditional dishes. We eat all kinds of food but we should always explore the traditional cuisine which is available in that place. In this episode, I'll be showing you two of the cuisines which are available in Gangkok City. One is dumpling which is commonly known as momos. <laughs> Mouth watering momos, everybody likes momos. And the second one is a bit unheard traditional cuisine which is a Nepali cuisine called as Sirroti. I could have taken you to some restaurant and show you how they serve the momos, how they give the momos but I thought instead of taking you to restaurants and all I would show you the process how these delicacies are made at home and then it will be an opportunity in which even if you can't come to Sikkim you can make this traditional cuisine at home and enjoy the traditional cuisines of our culture. Both the cuisines which I am showing you in this episode are a kind of snacks but it's not compulsory to only eat those in snacks time you can eat it at dinner you can eat it at lunch but I am showing you those as for the breakfast which you can prefer to eat in Sikkim. I would like to share something with you which I generally tell at the last of the video but usually most of us don't go to that extent so my message is not conveyed to you all my only request is to share my video to as many as people for that you can share it in your whatsapp account in your facebook account so that our family members will increase if you share my video it will be a very motivational thing when i see the number of my family members increasing and the number of likes will also give me an idea that my videos are a bit good it's getting better and will be more and more inspirational and motivational to me thank you all of you for the share the likes which you all provide and let's continue with the video namaste baroko pranam aur mere sabhi dosto ko aka ka pyaar ghumne aaye hain to local ban jaye aapko main paros raha hu traditional food Life which I am showing you are not the output of me alone. Without the guidance of my mother, I would not have been able to make the things very correctly. And without the hard work and the time given by my brother, I would have taken maybe three days, okay, let's say two days to make this whole thing ready and to eat. Both of them helped me and supported me that I could make this video and the foods shown in this video and show you. So without their help and guidance, it was a impossible task for me. Okay, not an impossible task, but a very long 
time taking, time consuming tax for me. So my thanks to my mother and my brother for helping me out to prepare these recipes. Let us start with our first ingredient, momo, also known as dumplings. For that, all the ingredients which we will be needing are Tada! These all are the ingredients which I am going to use to make my chicken momo. Refined oil, chicken, white flour dough, onions, white flour which will be used when I am making the dough flat, ginger, salt, the flattening device and the cooking device which we call as moktu in our Nepali language. For those who are vegetarian, instead of chicken, they can use cabbage, peas and some carrot which are finely chopped, small small pieces, very finely chopped and they can use it and mix with the onions and use as the fillings for the dumpling or which we call as momos. All the ingredients which I am using out here, I will be giving a detailed list of what I am using so you can pause the video and see the amount of ingredients which I have used out here. Now, I will keep aside the dough for at present we don't need the dough and we need to mix the chicken, the onion, the ginger, salt and some refined oil together and very nicely. But firstly, I would like to take off my watch which will be an obstruction in this whole process. Let us now mix all the ingredients and I will show you all the things which I am mixing. So, I will put the onions in this one. The whole amount of onion as I listed in the thing. The ginger which is finely grated salt just one teaspoon of salt and about two teaspoons of refined oil now we need to mix all these things very nicely As I mix my fillings very nicely, now let me keep apart all the things which I am not going to be utilizing out here since I will be needing some space as I have to make some chapati type shapes of the dough which is there and put the fillings out there. Let me go and wash my hands and keep the things aside and come back to you in a flash. As I have cleared the workspace, I am back here and firstly we will need to Prepare the utensil for making the momos. So, we will take this utensil and we need to garnish this utensil with some refined oil so that the momo does not stick onto it. So, we will use the cotton and we will take the refined oil and we will completely garnish the utensil. We don't need that much but it should be very nicely garnished. Now, this, I have put the refined oil all over it. Then we need to make the dough, flat dough in small, small size. So, I will take the dough, just this much, it is also a little bit big, this much, and I need to make the shape of chapatis of this. So I will put it out here. The size of this one should be not more than 
3 to 4 centimeters in diameter. So, this one is almost ready. Round in shape. Now the next process is we have to put the fillings inside it and I'll use the spoon to take the fillings in small amount. It's okay if you put this much of amount and we need to close it. properly so that while cooking this does not spread out and come out side after we close it properly now we need to place it out here in the utensil in this way then again I'll make the second one and I'll again I'll show you taking very small amount of dough, making it round, smearing it with some white flour, pressing it, getting it ready for making the shape round. The size is good enough. I'll smear off some of the white flour which is stuck onto it. Use the fillings to fill it. And now I have to close it. properly again our second piece of mom is ready and we'll align it in this way similarly I'll make all the momos the total amount of momo which is going to be made is around 50 momos I'll make it and I'll show you so one utensil and two utensils are going to be used totally for making this whole process as you can see we have prepared the momos and we have put it inside the utensil for cooking purpose and this is the base of the utensil where we will put water and we'll add this bones and all of the remaining of the chicken so that we'll get a nice soup afterwards so we'll add the bones, we'll add some amount of salt in it. And we'll place the utensil with the momos above it and we'll cover it and we'll put it for cooking purposes. We have to keep it in flame for 20 minutes and then we can take it off. There will be manual layer of this utensil coming in in some time. So after the momo is ready, I'll show you how the momo is looking. Before the momo is prepared, I would like to show you the chili sauce which is going to accompany momo for eating. The chili sauce consists of chilies, tomato which is pre-boiled and garlic, some amount of salt as per taste and then we'll grind it in a mixture. All these ingredients are not needed to be cooked as tomato is pre-boiled and others can be eaten as they are. Let me show you our second traditional dish which is available for eating as breakfast in Gantok which is known as Sel Roti the ingredients are as here are the ingredients which are going to be used for making Sel Roti before I tell you about the ingredients 
I would like to say something about seroti. Seroti is a Nepali cuisine. It's a kind of a bread which is generally made during the times of Dipavali as an offering to the friends, relatives, as a kind of a kindly gesture. The ingredients used in seroti are also very rich. Rice flour, light flour, ghee, sugar, some spices like cinnamon, cardamom, black pepper, milk, refined oil in which we are going to cook. In restaurant, when you get seroti, then they may add some water in the milk also. Now, you can watch the video and see the amount of ingredients which I have used for making seroti. These ingredients are going to be used and sufficient enough for making around 30 serotis so you can pause the video and see about the amount of ingredients which I've used in this. Now let me show you the procedure of making and preparing celery. So in this rice flour we are going to add white flour and some ghee then we will mix it properly after that we will add sugar and again we will mix it then after that we will add the spices we will again mix it and then we will add milk and I will show you the amount of thickness this should be so that it will form nice crispy bread so I will mix the white bread white flour in the soup, rice flour and I will mix the ghee so I have used about 1 of this ghee so I put the ghee out here I will use this much amount of ghee and I will mix the ghee properly Ghee, the rice should be mixed very nicely and it should be spread in each and every part of the rice flour, white flour which is out here. It has been around 15 minutes of me mixing those ingredients together. I would like to tell you the process of making rice flour. So, for making the rice flour, you need to soak the rice in water for one whole night and the next day when you are going to make the rice flour, you have to drain the water and then grind it in a mixer and make it the flour. For the serving purpose of this seroti, we use two ingredients alongside with the seroti. The one ingredient is known as algam which is a common delicacy and most of us know how to make algodam. The other ingredient is known as gorkhe achar or the achar which is made up of onions, tomato and red chili and the process of preparing the gorkhe achar I will show you in this video also. All the things together we are going to use for eating celery. Now the next process of this I will add the sugar one cup of sugar but I'll add little bit less amount of sugar because we are not used to eating so much of sugar and again I'll mix this properly throughout. The mixing should be such that there should not be any grains remaining in the mixture and it should be finely powdered together. As I mix the sugar, now you can see the consistency of this whole thing. Even if I make it like this, I can make a ball out of it. But we won't need to be making a ball. Since we are going to add and it will be in a somewhat liquid form. Now we will add the spices. And again we will mix it.
You may be thinking, why am I mixing all the ingredients separately? This is only because so that I can mix it more and more and the ghee which we have added that gets blended very properly. Now I am going to add the milk in little little amounts so that I do not add too much and make it very liquid. I will show you the consistency of the amount of thickness it should be after I have get it prepared. There should not be any lumps remaining when this whole process is finished. The mixing should be such in a way that there should be no grains left. I have been mixing for so around 30 minutes, no, 20 minutes around. Now I think the consistency has become good and I will show you the thickness, how it should be. It should not be more thin than this because it will not form properly. Now I'll get you closer and I'll show you the process of cooking celery. As I prepared the workspace and our consistency for making celery is already ready, I'll show you the ingredients which I'm going to use for making the Gorkhya Achara. We all know how to make aludam, so I don't think I need to show the process of making aludam to all of us. The process of making Gorkhya Achara is, we have to cut onions in long sleeves and tomato in long sleeves. After that, we'll use our utensil, we will fry all these in ingredients. Before that, we will use pass foron and then after that, we will put the onions, tomato and the chili, the turmeric and salt and we will prepare the gorkhi achar. So I will take these ingredients and I will go inside and prepare the gorkhi achar whereas the celery is going to get prepared out here and I will show you how to prepare celery.
मैंने दस मार्ग तो आज टिप्पे ऑल दिस एंड आई सो यू आफ्टर टिप्पे रेसल This piece in our local culture is known as Babri and it's the last piece of the cell roti which we have to make. It's a ritual. Without making this video any more longer, as this video has already become long enough, I would like to thank you all for all the love and support that I received with the share, like and the comments that you provide in our video. For all those who have not subscribed, please subscribe and join and become a part of our family members so that our family members increase and I will get all the other aap logon ka pyar and upar wale ka pyar over and out.